Come back, come back and sell. I got his shoes out of line. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I do the dishes. Yo, what's good? It's your girl T, and today I'm gonna be talking about my diet and what I eat. So, in my previous weight loss video, if you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link down in this disc description box. Y'all should go watch it first. But today I'm gonna be going more into intermittent fasting and what I do. So I've been doing it for I'm not sure like a good at least three months minimum probably four months so I put a definition right here I cannot get my words out today so I'm gonna put the definition right here and I'm going to put the definition of what I do now or my diet now, I am a pescatarian. I'll put it in one of these spaces. So, basically, a pescatarian is somebody that has a vegetarian diet but eats seafood. So, I can eat calamari, like squid, octopus, clams, oysters, shrimp, scallops, fish, all of those things. So... Most of the time, I tend to eat shrimp and salmon. I love salmon, but I can't eat it all the time. Like, cause I I didn't had had it so much the past like last month. I just got tired of it, and I just I can't. It's too much. So I will eat it like once a week, if that. I try to just eat shrimp. But another thing about eating shrimp is like. Like, too much of it can, like, build up toxins in your body. So, I also do, like, body cleanses. And I use the T-Me colon cleanse. And, girl, if that thing don't work, you will be on the toilet. Boo! Bah! 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 Like, all of that. Like, I swear, like, you will be, you just be chilling and then your stomach start burning. Like, you feel like you about to throw up. Like, it's, it's really that bad. I'm not exaggerating. That thing works. And with me doing intermittent fasting, I don't have a lot of food to flush out everything. And, who that cleanse works, honey. You will be boom, ba, ba, da, ba, 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 boom, boom, boom. I swear. The toilet was full. I know this is TMI, but I'm just trying to prove to y'all that it works. Definitely non-sponsored. But yeah, I use the T-Me colon cleanse along with the Skinny Tea by T-Me. And I really like the T-Me's. They, they really work. This Timmy Skinny is for like to for energy energy boost boost papa, and I put one teaspoon of lemon juice like all it's like a hundred percent natural lemon juice. I put the um the little bottle right here and like a teaspoon of cinnamon, girl. I've been doing that for the past week or so, and I feel like it really been giving me some energy. Like, I'm going to put the um benefits of lemon juice and cinnamon right here, so there's so many benefits for both. Now, back to my diet, my, like, food-wise. Um, I'm going to insert some pictures on each side of stuff that I eat that I make and what I really love is quinoa bowl like I call it a quinoa bowl but it's technically a burrito bowl I insert a picture right here duh and it's so packed full of protein and veggies greens man I love that thing I can eat that thing like one time I ate it three days in a row. Like, it was that good. Like, I had to make another batch for the third day. But make sure you get a lot of protein in your body. 
And when it comes to protein, you don't need to be eating fried, deep fried, no fry protein. No, just lean protein. I don't use butter when I cook anymore. I've I've been doing that for like a month or maybe a month or two months. And I started that because my mom is on her diet and that's a whole another ball game. She on something else. But I cook like that so she could eat what I cook because she loves my cooking. So I modified it for her and I haven't really could been able to tell a difference between me using butter and olive oil. And you can't drown your pan in olive oil either. Like just enough to fill the bottom of the pan so nothing will burn or stick, you know. So... I also have this picture. I'll put it right here. It's like a conversion of butter versus olive oil. And I've been, I have been used that in the beginning to figure out how much I need to do to substitute what I would usually use. As you saw in the pictures, like when I eat, I eat. Like I don't, I don't starve myself with intermittent fasting. And I try to stay under 900 calories. It was, at first I said... 1120 like I tried to stay under that but it just got lower drop drop I also try and drink at least 32 ounces of water like it's a bottle this insert it's a 32 ounce water bottle I try to drink at least one and a half of those actually every day and now we got these big old Trader Joe's Water bottles is like 50 something ounces insert somewhere. And yeah, I've been, the past few days I've been drinking them pretty good. I sip on it all day. Like just sitting here with, you know, some people they do the gallon. The gallon jugs, I, I ain't about their life yet. I tend to incorporate a lot of greens in my diet. Such as salad. A lot of salad. I love salad. Um, kale, celery, green beans, uh, avocados. I love avocados. I can use anything. Sliced avocado with my salad. Mashed avocado with my quinoa bowl. I love avocado point blank. It's really good and it's benefits right here. Too much. Too many. Too so many amazing like and like i said in the last video with the acv and the garzania cambogia it works but i don't do it personally anymore just because i was tired of taking pills and i already had other pills to take like doctor prescribed pills so i was just tired of taking three pills with the acv all the time but behind all the other stuff that i had to take but it does work. I do recommend it. And I'm about to try ACV mixed with some other ingredients. If y'all want to see that recipe, comment down below. Oh, yeah, and I don't use the ab cuts anymore, but I do recommend that. Um, but that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please comment down below and ask me or hit me up on my social media, Snap, Insta. But, yeah. I love you guys. I hope this helps. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.